All right, well, we're working on another oddball today in the shop. This is a 1981 Nissan Maxima station wagon diesel. I don't know if you can see that. There's injector lines hooked up to the engine there. And this is another kind of a sad story, sob story. It's an older car. It's in really great shape here in Portland, Oregon. I call us the Cuba of the United States because none of our cars rust out. We have cheap uh, registration and uh, cars like this live. So other than just a little moss or mold, they don't rust out um, from the bottom up like the salt states. And the sob story or the sad story about this car is it was taken to another mechanic. They determined that all the glow plugs were bad and it wouldn't start, wouldn't run. Turns out that that wasn't the case at all. I quickly diagnosed the pump wasn't pumping and there's a, see this belt right here that's broken in two pieces? That's the injection pump. It's never been replaced. I should say this is the injection pump belt. There's a belt right down there. You see that? It's like a little timing belt. It runs off the crankshaft that turns the injection pump. And once I figured out the pump wasn't pumping, I thought, hmm, either the pump is bad or the belt's bad. So turns out the belt was in a couple different pieces. And uh, it's amazing now because these cars are not supported. I almost couldn't get the belt replaced. Uh, nobody offered it. The dealership doesn't offer it, no aftermarket. I did find it on Rock Auto, which I was surprised. But had I not been able to find the belt, this car would be done. I don't know what else you'd do. So the belt is on, the engine's in time, the customer's gonna be so happy. I'm gonna start it up here for you. Again, this is a 1981 Nissan. I think it did have the voice actuated like, the door is open, the key is in, the ignition but that doesn't work anymore unfortunately that's what the dash looks like and when we turn the key you can see the uh, the glow plug light glows we'll wait for that to go off it looks like it just went off oh and this is an automatic purrs like a kitten Sounds like a diesel. I'm going to turn that off so it doesn't stink up the shop. I don't have the uh, water pump or the alternator belts on, so I don't want to overheat. But just wanted to give you guys a little overview. It's kind of cool. Look at that retro old radio. That was before cassettes, I believe. <laughs> Digital. That was probably a new thing. It's got a little warning control center here where little lights light up to tell you what's going on. Digital clock for 81, that was, that was pretty cool. Really neat old car. Let's see if the horn works. Yep, yeah, horn works. So just wanted to give you a little overview. These old cars do exist and uh, kind of fun to work on. That is when I can make them work. So. All right, have a great day and keep fixing up those old cars. Keep them on the road.